Welcome to Conversions. Okay, this video is for grade 10, 11, and 12. Conversions are very simple. All right, we say, if you're going forward, you multiply. And if you're going backwards uh, in your conversion, then you divide. So if you're going forward, then you're gonna multiply. If you're going backwards, then you're going to divide. Let's put that to some application. Starting with distance. How would you convert distance? Uh, of course, our distance converter, we know that uh, one kilometer is a thousand meters. One meter is a hundred centimeters. One centimeter has 10 millimeters. So uh, that is our distance converter. So let's start converting. All right, for 1.1, we want to convert kilometers to meters. So we want to go from kilometers to meters. And remember the rule, if you're going forward, then you need to multiply. So we're going to multiply by 1,000. And um, 5.5, if we multiply that by 1,000, it will give us 5,500, okay? So, That is our solution, 5,500. Okay, and then for 1.2, we want to convert centimeters to millimeters. So we want to go from centimeters to millimeters. Again, you're going forward, so you're going to multiply by 10. 55 multiplied by 10 is 550. 1.3, you want to go from centimeters to meters. All right. So for 1.3, let's first erase the previous one. So for 1.3, you want to go from centimeters to meters. And as you can see, now you're going backwards. If you're going backwards, you're going to have to divide. Okay. And if we take 5,500 and we divide it by 100, it will give us... 55. Okay. Finally, for 1.4, we want to convert millimeters to kilometers. Want to go from millimeters all the way to kilometers, but we cannot jump. If we want to convert kilometer uh, millimeters here to kilometers, we need to take all the steps. So first, you must Go to centimeters, so you divide by 10. From centimeters, you must go to meters, so you divide by 100. And then from meters, you can finally get to uh, kilometers, dividing by 1,000. So let's look at that. 120,000. So we first divide by 10 to get to centimeters, and then we divide by 100 to get to meters, and then we divide by a thousand to get to kilometers. All right, and of course, that is zero comma 12. Question two. Question two, while converting time. All right, and of course, the time converter is easy. One hour has 60 minutes, and each minute has 60 seconds. All right, and of course, we apply the same concept. Forward, you multiply. Backwards, you divide. So for 2.1, we want to go from hours to minutes. So we want to go from hours to minutes. So if you're going forward, you multiply. So of course, to convert that, we would take 9,25. 9,25. And we multiply it by 60 because we're going forward in the conversion. And that will give us 555 minutes. Okay, let's go on to uh, 2.2. For 2.2, we want to convert minutes to hours this time. So we want to go from minutes back to hours. And of course, if we are going back, then you need to divide by 60. 
So if you take 1,440, divide that by 60, that will give you 24 hours, which is a day. So that we convert to 24 hours. Okay, let's go on to the last one, 2.3. For 2.3, we want to convert seconds to hours. So we want to go from seconds all the way to hours. But again, we cannot jump. We need to take all the steps. So you must first go from seconds to minutes. So we divide by 60. And then from minutes to hours, you divide again by 60. So 3,600 rather 36,000. We divide by 60 to go to minutes. We divide again by another 60 to get to hours. So 36,000 seconds will give you 10 hours. Let's go on to question three. For question three, we're converting mass. And of course, that's the converter. You should all know that one kilogram has a thousand grams, okay? So for 3.1, we want to go from kilograms to grams. So we want to go from kilograms to grams. You're going forward, so you're going to multiply. All right? So 0, 65 multiply by 100, 1,000, sorry, because you're going forward. That should give you 650 grams. All right. 3.2 is the opposite. For 3.2, you now need to go from grams to kilograms. You need to go from grams to kilograms. So you're going backwards in your conversion. And the rule is, if you're going backwards, then you divide. So you take 500 and you would, of course, divide it by a thousand. And that will, of course, give you 0, 0,5. Okay, let's move on to question four. Converting volume. All right, these are your volume converters. One liter has a thousand milliliters. One kiloliter is a thousand liters. And of course, centimeters cubed is exactly the same as milliliters. So these are equal, all right? Okay, so let's uh, start the conversion. For 4.1, we want to convert liters to milliliters. So there's the converter that we're going to use the first one, if we want to convert liters to milliliters. And of course, liters to milliliters, you're going forward. So you'll multiply by um, a thousand. And of course, that'll give you 250 milliliters. Okay, and for 4.2, you need to convert liters to kiloliters. So you need to use this converter we want to convert liters to kiloliters. So we divide because we are going backwards to convert liters to kiloliters. So you would take 3,440 and uh, divide that by 1,000. And of course, that will give you 3,44. Kiloliters. And then finally, um, we need to convert centimeters cubed to liters. All right. And just before you convert centimeters cubed to liters, you need to look at the last converter, this one here. And it tells you that centimeters cubed and milliliters are the same, they are equal. So that means that. If you have centimeters cubed, that is also milliliters. 
So if you want to convert centimeters cubed, just uh, convert milliliters to liters. And of course, we would again use that converter for milliliters to liters. So because we're going back, we would divide by a thousand. And of course, 9,500 divided by a thousand will give us 9,5. So I'll say that again. If you have a question that's asking you to convert centimeters cubed, uh, you must first write the centimeters cubed as milliliters. And once you have written it as milliliters, because it's exactly the same, the conversions are exactly the same, and then you can convert the milliliters to liters. Okay, so finally we convert currency for 5.1. You have to convert the yen to rands. How do you convert your yen to a rand? We use this converter, yen to rand converter. And of course, if you're converting yen to rand, you're going forward. So you are going to multiply by 0, 0,14. So of course, you will take 0, 0,25 and you would multiply that by the converter, which is uh, 0, 0,14. All right, and of course, remember this is money. So money, you must always round off to two decimal places, two cents. So if you look uh, at those decimals there, we'll just round it off to 0, 0,03. So that is 0, 0,03. Okay, let's go on to 5.2. For 5.2, we must convert euros to dollars. So we need to use the euro to dollar converter, this one here. Okay, this is the one with the dollars and the euros. Okay, so are we going backwards or forward in our conversion? We are going from euros to dollars. So we must go from euros back to dollars. So we're going backwards. So that means we will divide by 0, 0.85. So let's look at that. So you will take 2,350 and you will divide it by 0, 0,85. And of course, uh, let's convert the fraction. It will give us 2,764, 2,764. Uh, and remember, money must be converted to two decimals, so we'll make this uh, 70 cents, or 71 cents to be precise. 71 cents okay all right and finally for 5.3 we need to convert uh, a pound to a rand so pound pounds to rand okay and remember uh this is the conversion that we'll use uh the one with rands and pounds okay and again here we're going backwards as you can see we must go from pounds to rands so in our conversion, we're going backwards because we're going from pounds to rand. So of course, we're going to divide by 17 rands 50. So we would take 9,500 rands. And of course, we would divide that by 17 rands and 50 cents. And that will give us um, 542. 542 comma and of course we rounded off to two decimal places which will give us 86 cents all right that's the end of the lesson